Family away from family, the ones that will accept you for no matter what, because that's what we do. Keeping an open mind, that's something I definitely have learned. You can't come in here and expect for things to go one way, and expect for that to stay the same the whole time. These teachers have taught me more than when I went to a four-year college. in that kind of environment where it's, it doesn't feel like a job, it feels like what you would do. The Intel chip. For years, it's been trapped inside PCs, inside dull little boxes, dutifully performing dull little tasks, when it could have been doing so much more. Starting today, the Intel chip will be set free and get to live life inside a Mac. Imagine the possibilities.
We introduced this blend in 1998 for those who prefer a milder cup. A shade lighter than most of our offerings, more toasty than roasty, it was the result of playing with roast and taste profiles together to create a flavor that appealed to a wider range of palates. Perfect if you want to wake up to a less intense coffee, but still want a lot of character. It's lively with a citrusy tang that gives away to a clean finish. Starbucks Breakfast Blend, the perfect way to start your day. Nostalgia for being um, able to grow up and coming here. Um, I've been coming here since I was in middle school, so coming here a lot. Um, all my friends have come here, and there's a lot of comfort. I come here like a homeboy, homeboy from home type thing. But um, I like the coming here for like the community. Like it's pretty healthy. Like nothing really goes on here. I'm just come here, relax, see friends, and chill. Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. But if he stopped using ladies' scented body wash and switched to Old Spice, he could smell like he's me. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat with the man your man could smell like. What's in your hand? Back at me. I have it. It's an oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. Look again. The tickets are now diamond. Anything is possible when your man smells like Old Spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse.
Let's do a brand new day. Let's step away from the bland and let the color fly. Let's get to the one store with more number one choices and match this or this without using too much of this. Then let's crack open a can and get to it. Paint? No. Let's do POW. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. You know, original Coke is better. Old school. Nah, it's all about the new Coke. Vanilla Coke. New school. Mm. New school. Old school. <laughs> Strive to be different. Coca Cola.
smoked turkey, smoked brisket, smoked pork belly. Some will reach the summit. Others will run out of oxygen and have to be helicoptered out. Arby's, we have the meat. I'm Shirley Vermillion, and I'm the director of Second Sundays. I had grown up in the northern neck of Virginia in the middle of the boonies, and nothing was really going on. Um, I'd gone to college in a few moderate-sized cities and then ended up in Seattle. And while in Seattle from 1993 to 2001, everything that we did really, like in the, really from May through September, had to do with arts and music. And there were just, every little neighborhood had its music festival, street festival, folk festival, I mean, you know, whatever they called it, but it was, it included music and art. So they were all ages friendly festivals. And um, when I got the yearning to move back to, to the East Coast and live in Williamsburg, I knew it was a college town and I made the assumption that being a college town, we would have plenty of art and music. I saw that they were doing the free outdoor movies, which was reminiscent of some of my favorite moments out in Seattle. Um, so I approached the Blue Talon and said, you know, you guys already closed the street for these outdoor movies on Sunday night. So I just said to Chef Everett and to Adam Steely, the owner, their co-owners, chefs, and um, I said, have you ever thought about having an outdoor festival, maybe in the afternoon before? 